Welcome to World of Monsters, I'm Monster Master Arthur, and uh, welcome to another sketch of the week. Another sketch of the week, I know it's been a while, but I've been telling you guys, I've been promising, and it's true, I will get back to making vid videos regularly and get back to the higher uh, length and more researched and better quality videos as well. Thank you for the Van Helsing werewolf drawing request, that was by... Nico Myers. Yep, Nico Myers. So thanks for the request. You guys are always welcome to request anything for these sketches as long as it's monstrous. And then, of course, for other videos, you can request any monster you want. So with this drawing, I was, uh, I wanted to do my, okay, so my favorite, I think, werewolf form or look is not the main one, the black one of Van Helsing, maybe, but the one they show at the, the start. I forgot the characters' names and all that, but it was that white, grayish one that uh, attacks him out in the woods and stuff. So, but I, I wanted to do that black main one that's off of the, uh, well, more major character later in the movie that uh, we all know of. So I, I wanted to do that uh, werewolf, but I wanted to give it kind of that shot that the other werewolf got in the movie. So I took upon looking at the... Uh, references of the the black one where it's standing after it just transformed where he's gonna fight Dracula but I changed the kind of uh, uh, the dimensions the position of the werewolf of that one that black one with the more uh, kind of naked uh, hairless furless face um, and the really pointy ears uh, so I think a lot of people like that one and I just wanted to give him a little bit of a different look because I don't want to copy pictures right off uh, the movie screen or other photographs. I'd rather change it up a bit if I'm doing uh, fan art, and that's what, in the end, all this kind of stuff is, is fan art. And that's something to consider if you guys do pictures of copyright stuff. In the end, it's all fan art, and if you do sell a lot of it, you can get in trouble. But if you do giveaways with it, no problem there. If you sell one once in a while, no issues, they won't really care so uh, yeah this is the one with the pointy ears and I noticed I could have done something a little bit different with that ear on the right here but no matter so it has those more pointy ears I'd say the the issues or the um, not the issues but the challenging points here are definitely the teeth and being as it is I work on this kind of paper and these are sketches and I always talk about how I like this paper because it limits you well, when you're doing something detailed like teeth and stuff like that, you really have to not put too much detail focus on them. Maybe I did a little too much, or maybe not so much, but I did in my mind, and I was kind of messing with them for a while. There's the back of my head. Enjoy. It's a pretty head. It goes with the fur. There's a reference for the fur. For the werewolf. Yes, my head. As I was talking, the teeth are a little bit of an issue, especially if you want to work something quick, but they are so detrimental. They're so important. Give the teeth the attention they need. Make sure you draw them out, you draw the lines. Not the teeth out, but first the lines, the basic shapes, and the direction that teeth are going to be going. Spend some time on that, and then start filling out the measurements and spaces with the teeth. It'll save you a lot of headache, and it makes your drawing look a lot better. Uh, at this point, the nose is a little bit crooked too. It's stuff you don't really notice while you're working on a quick drawing sometimes, so I did touch that up. Um, because the, the right now it looks like the nose is pointing at you more forward rather than to the, the side as the werewolf's uh, looking. So we'll touch that up in a little bit. Thought I was done here, but I wasn't. There's usually points after I'm finished with uh, recording these videos for you guys and then I look at the picture afterward and still touch it up, so keep that in mind, bear that in mind if I ever do a giveaway and you want one of these or you want to buy one. I do touch them up and if I do put a photo of them once uh, I start selling them, then uh, it'll be the photo of the final product. Last but not least, I want to thank you guys again for the giveaway and for participating. It was actually a nice, successful giveaway and very fun, so thank you for being there and looking forward to chatting more with you guys and for doing some more videos for you. Until next time, stay monstrous, my friends. <laughs>